We are recording. Hey, it's Alex from Recording Magazine, and I'm here at Coop Studios in Boulder, Colorado to bring you this review of Total Studio 3 Max from IK Multimedia. We also reviewed it in the July 2021 issue of Recording Mag. Total Studio 3 Max is an enormous collection with everything you need to step up your music production game. It comes with 60 virtual instruments, over 14,000 sounds, mixing and mastering plugins, and more. IK Multimedia offers it with three different bundles, Total Studio 3 SE, which is slightly slimmed down, Total Studio 3 Max, which is on review today, or you can get the entire software collection bundled with a pair of iLoud MTM monitors like the ones I have on the meter bridge behind me. I reviewed the iLouds in the September 2019 issue of Recording Magazine, and to get these monitors bundled with the software is an awesome deal, and it'll have you up and running in no time. But because this is such a massive collection, please know this is not intended to be a tutorial, more of a broad overview video to show off what's possible and what this thing sounds like. So to do this, I wrote a song using the included virtual instruments, and I mixed and mastered it using all of the plugins found in Total Studio 3 Max. So let's dive in, we'll check out the track, and then we'll circle back and listen to each individual layer. Alright, so let's dive in with Amplitube 5 Max. I've used Amplitube for years, but I've never had the complete collection at my disposal before. It's a go-to for many guitarists and bassists when they need realistic amplifier modeling. It features a total of 400 amps and effects, with over 2,500 artist presets to get you rolling. Some of the new features include a freely configurable signal flow section down at the bottom of the screen there, and a completely remeasured cabinet section for more realism and depth. We've reviewed many Amplitude versions over the years. Most recently was the Brian May collection in July of 2020. Brian May's tone is faithfully represented, and I thought some of the presets and harmonizers provided some instant queen guitar tones that were addictive to play through.
Hammond B3X is a brand new IK Multimedia offering representing the very first official virtual Hammond B3. It was developed closely with Hammond and Suzuki. It aims to deliver all of the soul, passion, and vibe that Hammond is known for. The stomp box section features a classic Tube Screamer style overdrive, a Boss CE1 style chorus and vibrato, a spring reverb, an EQ, and a wah pedal. The cabinet section allows for complete customization of the Leslie amp and cabinet, including speed and mic distance. The post effects section allows for final tone shaping. For this song, I started with a preset called Chorus Singing, but there are many other classic Hammond flavors to choose from right out of the gate. Motodrum is a unique virtual instrument that uses physical modeling synthesis combined with sampled sounds to create compelling drum tones. It offers 10 drum kits, 8 rooms, and over 1,400 pre-programmed MIDI grooves across various genres and time signatures. Paul Vanuk Jr. originally covered Motodrum in the January 2020 issue of Recording, he wrote, Moto Drum sounds excellent, especially the kicks, which sound ideally localized for psychoacoustic realism. I tend to agree with Paul's take, especially with the Black Oyster kit. I love the boomy 60s kick sound and the tight snare. There are tons of great percussive tones and grooves to work with here. Moto Bass is a physically modeled bass virtual instrument. It delivers realistic and accurate performances that model the entire process of playing bass. It's more than just a simple sample based instrument. As a guitarist, I love the combination of Moto Drum and Moto Bass. Together, they deliver a great sounding rhythm section for songwriting and home production purposes. Sample Tank 4 is another IK Multimedia staple. It's designed to be every musician's music creation station. From idea inception to execution and tone shaping, Sample Tank 4 is a production powerhouse. Total Studio 3 Max includes every expansion pack for Sample Tank 4, and that's saying something. As a newcomer to the ecosystem, the sheer amount of sounds and customization is a bit overwhelming at first. That being said, I found the layout to be pretty straightforward and easy to pick up on. I particularly enjoyed the cinematic percussion library. As a post-production sound designer, the hits and risers come together quickly to add impact to a piece. All sorts of great textures in here for scoring music to picture or elevating your own compositions. One of my favorite features is the Groove Player window. It can be set up as an arpeggiator, strummer, or phraser, which plays short phrases at the touch of a key. This serves as a great thought starter to build a song around. Syntronic Deluxe is what synth dreams are made of. With 22 synths recreating the sound of 44 legendary hardware synthesizers and string machines, Syntronic covers it all. 
The collection totals 80 gigs of content with over 2,600 instrument presets and 120,000 samples. To say this is a deep well of synth exploration is an understatement. It's easy to get lost in this collection. I found the abundance of synth models to be a vibe setter for so many different uses. Just like Sample Tank 4, Centronic Deluxe has its own groove player window with arpeggios and playable phrases. A longtime flagship product for IK Multimedia, Miroslav Philharmonic 2 is a complete orchestral sample collection with truly expressive sound. It comes with over 2,700 instruments, including strings, woodwinds, brass, concert grand piano, and more. Total Studio 3 Max also includes the orchestral percussion sample pack, which covers loops and hits for a wide range of percussive instruments. I've used a fair number of symphonic virtual instruments, and Philharmonic 2 is among the easiest and most musical that I've tried. The sounds are very responsive and dynamic, with realism and depth. And of course, there's also a range of articulations, dynamics, and patterns available to pull from. The only drawback I've encountered during my tests is high CPU usage, but that's an understandable trade-off for a library of this caliber. All right, so now let's dive into some of the plugins that are being used for the mixing and mastering. Mixbox resembles a 500 series rack unit that houses up to eight modules at once. In total, it comes with 70 effects that cover everything from guitar amp emulation to channel strips, dynamic processors, modulation, and more. Its algorithms are derived from T-Racks, which we're gonna dive into here in just a second, Amplitube, and Sample Tank. Having all of these sounds in a 500 series style lunchbox plugin is a really convenient mixing tool. It can be used within a DAW or standalone. I found it works great to have one on each submaster. It can add some color depending on which modules you have loaded up, and it just gives you plenty of control over final tone shaping. Let me demonstrate by playing a little bit of the mix with and without Mixbox enabled. As you can hear, I was able to carve out some muddiness, tame the dynamics, and just add a little bit of glue to the track. Next up, we have T-Rex 5 Max. This bundle consists of 38 high-end processors, including compressors, limiters, EQs, reverbs, and more. Many of the included processors are modeled after Analog Studio Classics. Overall, I was really impressed with the sound quality from t rex It has a nice blend of transparent and colored options to work with, and genuinely serves both mixing and mastering realms. In addition to some tone shaping and dynamics processing, I also enjoyed the Tape Machine collection. It's great for adding just a little bit more glue and analog flavor to the mix bus. I enjoyed getting to know the Sunset Sound Studio Reverb plugin, which includes models of rooms, plates, chambers, and booths from the iconic studio. In this mix, I have it processing the guitars and the drums. If you want to learn more, check out Paul Vanuk's review in the June 2020 issue.
The heavy lifting for my mix bus is handled by Lurson Mastering Console. Lurson Mastering Console is an easy to use plugin created in collaboration with mastering engineers Gavin Lurson and Ruben Cohen. It's designed to recreate the processing chain used at Lurson Mastering. Depending on which genre you have selected for your source material, the plugin acts as a set and forget workflow. The only parameters you can manually adjust are amplitude for a fixed five band EQ, threshold for the compressor and de-esser, and makeup gain. The two knobs include input gain and push, which controls the global amplitude for the five band EQ. To be honest, I was slightly disappointed by the lack of tweakability here. The chain view displays a signal flow involving multiple EQs and compressors, but nothing can be manually controlled outside of the threshold and makeup gain. That said, the Lurson Mastering Console provides a punchy sound that does a nice job in making its source material louder and fuller. It's a great fit for those who are new to the dark arts of mastering and need something quick and easy to help lift a mix bus. During the mix, I was monitoring through Arc System 3. Arc System 3 is designed to measure your room acoustics and make adjustments accordingly. I was a bit skeptical that shortcomings in my physical environment could benefit from a software solution, but my results with Arc System 3 were quite eye-opening. It has its limitations, of course, but it did wonders to help manage the low end in my home studio. I wrote a full in-depth review of Arc System 3 software for the November 2020 issue if you'd like to read more about it. IK Multimedia's Total Studio 3 Max Bundle is a ridiculous value. The only tricky part is carving out enough space on your system to install everything. For that reason, I'd recommend going with the hard drive delivery option at checkout. This bundle will become a part of your writing, editing, mixing, and everything workflow, there's no doubt about it. To learn more, go to ikmultimedia.com or you can check out my written review in the July 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. And if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. We're updating this channel frequently with more content just like it. Also, be sure to check out recordingmag.com for the best in all things recording. There you can listen to our new podcast with exclusive interviews or subscribe to the print publication now in its 35th year. Thanks. We'll see you next time.